Well, I'm having a bit of a tidy up this morning. It's a bit nippy, a bit cool. I found this. This is a part of an old gas stove. These are the taps, the valves, which could be handy for something. You never know. But, you know, so... Yeah. Got two fittings here. That's probably one... Yeah, one's in and one's out, and one's a balance line. I want to disassemble it so I can store it more easily. You know, that's a bit awkward. And uh, I may use that the brass bit of copper pipe for a project I got going. So yeah, this is all handy, you know, that little camping stove. So I've got to disassemble it. I was all set to get the bullfinch torch and do it with that, and I thought, what the hell? This would be a good opportunity to use my uh, HHO generator, you know, that I reviewed. Oh, it's that bloody dove and things in full cry this morning. So anyway, I'm going to give the HHO generator a run, and yeah, free to run, free gas, let's do it. a bit more mm, that's better there's still water right that should go Hmm. You have to put some more gooby goo in it. No, oh, well. I'll come back when I've done that. All right. Well, I've got up to the full mark. Pretty close. That's about right. Oh, some matches. So I'll try my sparker. It should light it. Power on. Oh, look at that. Straight up. Full 15 amps, or nearly 15 amps, that's good. There she goes, she's a light. See that? Yeah, so these are matches. I saw somebody else do that and I thought that's a good idea. So now we'll pull this apart and stick it in the vise. I'm thinking of what I can use this thing for, and this is the perfect job. Whoa, look at that baby go! Now we just give it a bit of heat. I'll be gentle because there could be a rubber seal in this valve, so. In fact, I think. I'll take the shafts out because if there's a seal, yeah, I don't want to risk buggering them up. So these just screw out when I look at it. They might just screw right out actually. Oh, they do, and look, there's an O-ring on there. So this is why I didn't heat it up with these in, it would have screwed them up. 
That's the right one. Yeah, you've got to think of these things, you know, you think, oh yeah, I'll just uh, heat it up and take that off, and you forget about the fact there could be a rubber seal there, which there often is in these things. Mm. Come on, baby. Oh, shit, get off. Mm. Oh, it's a bit tight, I'll have to put it in the... Uh, Hmm, huh. Maybe do it that way. Maybe. Oh, shut up, bird. These bloody doves. That one seems to like annoying me. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. So there you go. There's something for you to think about. goes again. Straighten her up a bit. Go. I wonder what I've done that with. I wonder. Silver solder, I'd say. Hmm. Not going to play ball. It's pretty hot. Look at that. Smoking. Doesn't want to come apart. Oh, stick it in this way. Gently. And then I'll try and pull it off. Yeah, it's all gas. That's gas. Yeah, we'll try it. I'm all about BTHUs. Yeah. Whether you've got enough. I thought, I thought this would come apart dead easy. But they've obviously used silver solder on this. This torch hasn't got enough BTHU output to do the job. It will not do it. So it is on full herbs. I'll put it on the pipe. There's going to be a lot of heat loss here. Copper and brass are two of the worst things for heat loss, so this little torch may not have it, what it takes as far as BTHU output. And that's what it's all about. It's all about the BTHUs. The actual temperature is important, but the BTHUs are critical. And if she hasn't got enough BTHUs, she's never ever going to do the job. Bloody dove's going to get a bullet one day, I'll tell you.
How's that, eh? Surprising, isn't it? You'd think it would just scoot through that, but it's not going to. Well, we'll have to get the bullfinch after all. You watch this. Yeah, we'll get a real torch. The difference there is no substitute for BTHUs. Doesn't matter how much temperature crap they tell you, that was a good demonstration of the big difference that we get with a small torch and a big torch. So yeah, that was silver soldered. seen how I got that flame right in close with this torch that is the hottest part of the flame it's not like the old school days where you had a, tw a twin or, a, or a, even a triple cone flame and the hottest part of the torch was always at the tip it doesn't apply to this torch with this the hottest part is going to be right in close so if you ever see me using this and you think why is it you know why has Rob got it in there rather than out here because you get a hell of a lot more heat right in it. Use a swirl type flame, totally different to the cone type flames. It's a fantastic torch and it's, it's paid for itself 20 times over at least. And uh, yeah, for this sort of work, great. I mean, that was, I think that was possibly silver soldered. I think it would have to be. It, uh, they would need to use manganese bronze on a job like that and I don't think you could actually because the brass fitting here would melt before the manganese bronze so yeah that would have been silver solder or what we call yellow tip in Australia and that's what you use for water pipe plumbing you know stuff like that the plumbers use it it's pretty good it's very good too because you can actually join a, a scrap copper and brass together and build up things to make a bigger piece of copper or brass or both out of it like flywheels you know maybe you've got a flywheel in the centers the holes too big where you can just sleeve it with some brass uh, and just silver solder it together and then machine it back and if you get very similar type brass you, you won't even see the join it'll be that invisible all sorts of tricks you can do when you've got a torch like this or you've got a map gas torch but certainly the this little torch just won't cut it for this sort of this size job. It's not anywhere near powerful enough. All right, that was pretty interesting, wasn't it? So uh, give you something to think about, and uh, yeah, I'll get on with the rest of the day now. All right, see y'all. Cheers.